Hi, in this video we will be talking about collision detection in OB Rogue version 5. Here I have the squiggly rope we created in our previous videos. If I click play now, you would see it behaving as usual. Now, uh, if we wanted to have a sort of floor to, for our rope to collide with, we could add a simple cube, scale it a little bit, and place it under the rope. If I click play, the rope basically ignores the collider inside of the cube. This is because we need to add an OB collider component. OB colliders are basically wrappers around regular Unity colliders that make them visible to OB. If I click play now, you will see that the rope collides with the floor. Still, it is uh, a little bit too slippery because there's basically no friction between the, the surface of the cube and the, and the rope. We can fix that by changing the collider's OB collision material. The collision material defines the friction and other collision param parameters between the, the objects that collide. Uh, you can create your own collision material assets, but for now we will use one of the default ones. Uh, in this case I'm going to use medium friction, and if I click play now, you would see that things aren't quite as slippery as they were before. If I drag the rope around, will stop moving in the surface of the of the floor quite quite faster. Now um, let's suppose that I add a second collider to this game object, let's say a capsule collider. I'm going to reduce its, its radius, increase its height, <coughs> and if I click play, the rope will ignore the capsule collider. This is because only the box collider has been wrapped by this OB collider here. As you can see, the OB collider's source collider is the box collider. So I need to add a second OB collider to wrap the capsule collider. Uh, now, by default, sorry, by default, uh, when you add an OB collider, it picks up the first collider in the object as its source collider. So I need to drag the capsule collider here and replace the box collider with it. Now if I click play, you would see that the rope reacts to both colliders. Okay, so it's as simple as that. If you want a collider to be used by OB, simply add an OB collider to it. Uh, now, if I turn on particle visualization by adding an OB particle renderer to the, to the rope, and I click play, you will see that there's a small gap between the actual surface of the of the rope and the floor and this is because particles are always the ones used for collision detection not the rope mesh but the particles instead so how can we get rid of this of this gap well we could either increase the thickness scale of the of the rope renderer which i have here by default it, it is a little bit less than, than one uh, if i set it to one you would see that the gap has been completely closed and the particles now adjust much better to the, to the actual mesh being rendered. But we could also leave it like that and select the collider instead and reduce the collider thickness by a small amount. So if I set it to say minus 0 0.01, sorry, this is the capsule collider. I meant the box collider here. So if I reduce it to, you'd see that 
particles begin to sink a little bit inside the collider. So if we now stop rendering the particles, you would see that I can make <coughs> the rope mesh and the collider get as arbitrarily close as I want and even intersect each other by changing the thickness of the collider. I can use negative values or I can use positive values to increase the separation between the collider and the, and the rope. Okay, so this is all for the video. See you in the next one.